You ever wonder what Almer Fudd would look like if he was a real person? Quem aí, quem aí gosta de manga com sal? Vocês já comeram manga com sal? Manga com sal. Manga, manga verde com sal. Quem aí já comeu manga com sal? Manga verde com sal. É muito gostoso, né? É, tô... Don't know what he's saying, but he loves mangoes! Ah! Coming back out of here with again with our fans. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 154. That's right, I said it. 154, and I'll say it again. 154. How's that for you? Does that tickle your fancy? Is your fancy tickled? Is your big, fat, fancy tickled? Did I tickle your fancy? Oh, I thought this smelled like a dirty carpet, but it turns out it's not that. It's a, it's an actual dirty carpet, even though I don't have a carpet. Anyway, here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway because we talk about it. I've had these cards since I was in 18 years of age. And we're almost done. We're literally almost done with the second stack of cards. We're almost done with the second stack of cards, ladies and 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 and, and fish. Look. Look, this is all we got left. We got a few purples and a few yellows. And then I got to go buy more. And I still have every single one that I've used up on a shelf there. So if you want one, maybe eventually when I have an audience, I can give them away. And sign them. And write a little note that says, poo poo pee pee, I like poo poo. Something like that. Uh, White Sneakers Award mug is back. Yeah, it was back last episode. But uh, still not full because Janice is uh, full of shit. Look at that. That's a spin top, ladies and gentlemen. That's a top that spins. I found it on my floor. This was not the in the intention of this thing. This was used for like I think it came in in a in an ink cartridge I got for my printer. I think. I don't know. Don't ask me questions. I don't like questions. That's what I'd say to my teachers in school. They'd be like, "Hey, Justin, can you answer the question on the board? And I'd say, I don't like questions. Don't ask me. And it didn't work back then. But let me tell you, it'll work now. Because if you're a child in school and you say to your teacher, I don't like questions. They offend me. And they make me feel uncomfortable due to my condition. Teacher has to go, okay. Guess I won't ask you questions then. The student can also go to the teacher and say, hey, I would like, uh, I don't feel like a guy today. I feel like a woman and I want to change. And the teacher can go, okay, let's go talk to a doctor, but not your parents. Let's not tell your parents. Let's just go to a doctor, get you a sex change. And no one, <laughs> no one will even notice, okay? They are allowed to do that. They don't have to consult the parents. If the student comes to them about wanting a sex change, is that appropriate? I don't think so. I don't think so. Right? I don't care if you say you're controversial. I want to be controversial. I need to spice things up. Fuck the police. Coming straight from the underground. Young beep got it bad because I'm brown. And not the other color that police think. They had the authorities kill a minority. Fuck that shit because I ain't the one. Just a bad motherfucker with a badge and a gun. What happens if I put the top in the cup? Oh. Stopped almost instantly. <clears throat> I've got a treat for you fat folks today. <laughs> um... 
I'm changing the format of the Dynamite Jizzard poop cast, but I'm not going to say what it is. You'll just, you'll see. Normally I find videos on Twitter, but they're never really that good enough. Uh, but I've, I've really been getting involved with TikTok lately. Um, I hate to say it. You know, for the longest time I was against TikTok, just like the fact that it even existed. I was always, you know, committed to Vine. I loved Vine. Fuck did I love Vine. And when Vine died, it was like right when I was actually starting to make my own Vines. And, you know, I was really, really into it. And then it just left me. It just fucking left us, bro. But then TikTok showed up and I was like, what is this? Singing and dancing? You think this is fucking the next Vine? Screw you. But it's evolved. Vine's evolved. And you can do 60 seconds. Okay? And people really find a great way to make it still have that Vine energy. And I love it. Dude, I love it. TikTok is its turning into something beautiful. It was shit, but now it's beautiful. It's so beautiful, dude. <laughs> I love it. There's also Byte, which I am you know subscribe to that's like technically the new vine but let me tell you something you guys are late on the bandwagon all right tiktok kind of took over and i don't know if bytes even going to compete you know i i created a byte account and i upload every once in a while but as for now tiktok's kind of the dominator you see so i've compiled some TikToks that I think are absolutely hilarious. And that's what we'll discuss. Tick ticks. And through each after each video I'll I'll or before each video that I show, I'll have a little blurb, a statement. I feel like that's gonna go over well. Okay. <clears throat> you know, and sometimes you know what I like to do in the comments section on anything, whether it's a TikTok video or just Twitter or YouTube video i just like to go in the comment section and pretend like i'm foreign okay like i'll make spelling errors and i'll just like make sentences sentences that are not grammatically correct wrong punctuation wrong you know just just the way you word things you word it wrong and you make yourself sound foreign I had an example that I wanted to talk about, but I don't have that example. That is because this is a shit podcast, and this is a shitty episode of the podcast. You know, I've been working a weird schedule lately, so the only time I have to film the podcasts are in the mornings, which is when I'm not really at my fullest potential. But I believe next week I'm back to... A good schedule so we'll see if I can film it in the evening when I've already been awake all day and I've already had you know thoughts flowing through my membrane like a little membrane boy you are you a membrane boy he check one two check check one two Oscar Meyer wiener we've got an Oscar Meyer wiener in our bum The other day, I I was in a drugstore, and I I had been pre uh, prior to going to the drugstore, I had been farting like all day, and it was great. You know, you have one of those days where you just fart a lot throughout the day, but they're not like rancid, stinky farts. They're just they're just little like little poppers, and maybe a few big ones. I've been doing that all day. So I go to this drugstore. And by drugstore, I mean like traditional drugstore where you just, the pharmacy style drugstore, okay? Not like drugs, not fucking heroin. And so I go into this heroin, I mean drugstore. And no, it was heroin for sure. No, it was drugs. No, it's just a pharmacy. I went in and. You know, I was looking for my stuff. I was wearing shorts because it's shorts weather now. And I was also wearing boxers. Okay. 
So loose fitting clothing. Uh you know, and I felt some farts coming on. So I'm like, "All right. There's no one around. I'm I'm the only one in the aisle." So I uh I farted. I just let out I pushed out a toot. And you know when you you know when you fart, it's kind of like a bubble. It feels like a bubble is expanding when you're pushing on the fart and it's not out. You know, you're pushing and as you push, it kind of feels like a bubble expanding, right? <laughs> that's how I picture farts, like a bubble. And then when it pops, when the bubble pops, that's the fart. So I'm pushing and I'm feeling the bubble expand, which is probably just my anus expanding or something. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm not Dr. Drew. I don't talk about shit all day. Anyway, so I'm feeling it expand, and then I'm still pushing, and I'm, like, pushing harder now. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a big fart. It's going to be a real good fart. Someone might hear this, but I'm like, I can't stop now. So I keep pushing and pushing, and I'm like, this is taking too long. I've never had to push this long for a fart. And then I push a little more, and then I kind of feel something, like poke the back of my underwear. And I'm like, ah, back of my boxers, I should say. I'm like, okay, <laughs> this isn't uh, a fart at all. <laughs> I'm just shitting my pants right now. I'm just I'm literally just shitting my pants. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, do I pinch it off and break it? Or do I just let the rest of it out? I mean, it's going to feel very uncomfortable. So while I'm thinking about what to do, my anus clenches in f- sheer fear and the the log, you know, pinches off. And I feel it kind of like fall into my boxers. And I'm like, "Oh, okay. That's poo." And I kind of just like move my body a bit. And since I'm wearing boxers and shorts, it just falls out the bottom of my shorts onto the floor and bounces a bit. It was just like a little, little nug, a little nuggy, <laughs> a little brown nugget. And I'm like, oh, okay. Now, what would you do? Would you just leave the shit there? Would you go say, hey, do you have a napkin? I just shit on your floor and I just need to pick it up. Like, what would you do? You can't just tell them I just shit on your floor. Then you can never go back there again. They're like, there's the shit, the guy who shits on our floor. So I contemplated, and I'm like, well, what the hell can I do in this situation? I still had to shit. I had, you know, there was the rest of the log pretty much at the at the door ready to exit. And so I'm like, all right, you know what? I hate to do this, but I'm just, I, I got to go. I'm just going to leave it there. Like, what do you do? You can't just say, you can't pick it up unless you find something to pick it up. So I'm like, I got to get out of here before someone sees that I'm shitting on the floor. (laughs) So I just left. Which is horrible. I mean, could you imagine being the employee (laughs) who comes along? And sees this log of shit on the floor and decides or has to make a decision on how to clean it up. Because someone has to clean it. Hopefully they sell those doggy pooper scoopers there. They could just use that. (sighs) Anyway, I I went home. And I took a poo. There were shit stains in my underwear. And yeah. So next time if you're going to push a fart and it seems to be taking too long, maybe back off a bit. And you could even just stick a finger up in there just to make sure. Because you never know. You really, you never, ever, you never, ever, for never, ever know. Right? You just... You never, ever, for never, ever. No. 
I wish you could full screen these. Okay, so this... Fuck off. Why does it keep telling me that? Okay, listen. So, you can't... I mean, you kind of can full screen in, in TikTok on the desktop version, but... Uh, so this is the first time I'm trying this style. So right now it's we're not going to be able to go full, full screen. We're going to go mostly full screen, but not full, full screen, okay? So I just wanted to say that for all you cool cats and kittens out there. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I have fucking sound butts. Carol fucking basket. Carol fucking Baskin. Um, so there's this guy who I would like to recommend. He's not the rec for today's episode, but I would like to recommend him. Uh, and yeah, I realize I'm copying uh, Rhett and Link Ear Biscuits when I do recommendations, but uh, I don't care, dude. They didn't invent recommendations. So Freddie Dread, he's this rapper, music producer that I found just on accident i i found him a long time ago when he was pretty much nobody and then i don't know there was just a couple of songs that i was like man this is good but you could tell it was like produced in his home by himself because of the the quality of it but it was so good i found him like years ago and now I'm starting to see he's he's getting a lot of traction. And he made that, that one song that is super fucking popular. Can't even remember the name of it. And he's also on TikTok. And he's, he's really funny. I just love... I love following people when they're small and watching them grow. It just... Ah! I love that! I love watching people grow from nothing. It's just so cool to see people make it because it makes me feel like I can accomplish what I want to accomplish with this shitty ass podcast. Um, so yeah, so Freddie Dreads on on uh, TikTok. His his username is Walt Disney's Bum, Frederick D. Matt Watson, more like a uh, Matt Crapson. <laughs> Freddie, shut the fuck up, dude. Go kill yourself. Dude. You fucking piece of shit. It was a joke. No, fuck off, dude. Matt Watson. Very good. Very quality. See, this is why I love TikTok. Because uh, this could be just real. Like, he was just in the moment. He, they They didn't prepare for this. He just hit record and did this. And maybe subconsciously the other guy knew that he was filming a TikTok and so he kind of ran with it. Or maybe it's just actually real. The guy didn't know or care that he was making a TikTok. He's actually mad at Freddy. And you get a real reaction. Or maybe the whole thing was planned. And they did it, and they're good at making the reaction seem real. And, you know, so either way, it works. And that's why I love TikTok. Because it's, even if it's, even if it's planned, people know how, people are starting to understand how to make things feel genuine. Yes, there's still the odd skit here and there. But when you watch a skit, you can tell it's scripted, and you can tell they're acting, and I can't stand those videos anymore. I just, those were cool back in like 2007, 2008, but scripted stuff, unless, if you're going to do scripted stuff, you gotta be a fucking, you gotta make it seem genuine. You gotta make it seem like it's not acting. Otherwise, it's just cringy, you know? So stuff like this, you watch it, and it's like, wow, genuine. It's genuine, and I love that. That's what I love about the 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 dink talk. 
Oh. Now y'all know that I love um, I love No, um I love uh <laughs> the 90s. I love nostalgia. You know this. Let me look at this fucking stupid sweater vest. Doesn't this look like something straight out of the 90s? Of course it does. So uh, what was, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember. It's on the paper. It's on the fucking card. Why do you have the card if you're not going to utilize it? So anyway, do you remember those things? I don't know what they were called, but they were like a tube. Like like a like a tube. They just looked like... Remember when M&Ms used to come in the tube? kind of looked like that. And you would tip it upside down and it would go... Wah. <laughs> you know those things I think they're called grown tubes or something well anyway uh, this I was you know searching for vi- for TikToks preparing and I found um, impressionists who do a very good job at this and what I you know I discovered is very pleasant and I'm glad it exists. Okay. <laughs> now here's the thing. Uh when I first find these, I laugh uncontrollably. And so I keep watching them. And I keep watching them to a point where I don't laugh as much as I did because, you know, I've seen it too many times. So what I'm going to have to start doing now is when I find something funny, I'm going to save it and just stop watching it and don't watch it again until uh, the podcast because I want to be able to laugh again. But this, you know, so if you don't know TikTok, this isn't the original. This is him you know voicing over the original and so the original is i just wanted to show this one because this is the one that caught my eye okay but this is actually the original (laughs) (laughs) and it's actually kind of more funnier because someone walked in (laughs) I like the little smile at the end. (laughs) She does a really good job. <laughs> it was very good. Very good, bruh. Very good. <sighs> um, this next one's even better. This next one is even better. You're gonna watch it and you're gonna be like It's not uh this isn't that great. I've seen stuff like this before. But uh at the end it takes a turn. It takes a t- <laughs> Takes a real big turn at the end, okay? Um, but I just should mention before we start it. Uh, are you ever in traffic? What well, here's what's your opinion on if you're in traffic and there's like a a, a, a motorcycle behind you, okay? And let's say you're in a, a van with no rear windows. Do you think that motorcycle drivers should move off to either the left or right side to be in your mirror so that you can see him? Or do you think he can just stay directly behind the van? Now, personally, uh, I kind of, I think the guy should be in the mirror. I think you should be aware of the fact that you're visible to everyone, especially if you're on a bike. Because, you know, 
if someone backs into you, you're going to get run over. But if you're in a car behind them, you know, they can see you, but also they'll just hit the car before and nothing will happen to you. Anyway, um, let's just, let's just check this one out. Let's just, you know, I don't want just, uh, check this one out, shall we? Okay, so you can zoom in too far on that, but you can go like that. Now remember, keep watching, because it takes a turn. Why don't you get in the position of your driver's seat and go? I can't see you, dumbass, is what I'm trying to tell you. Just get in your driver's seat and go. Shut up, man. <laughs> 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 I like how he laughs, too. <laughs> the second guy was ready to throw down, Clinton says. And that's true. <laughs> LMAO, the second guy was about to throw down. <laughs> and the first comment is fucking Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? We're going to watch it one more time. Just once more. Take a look at the passenger. Just take a good look at him. Honky, honky. I'm a honky. I'm gonna have some pancakes. I kind of feel like having some pancakes. You want some pancakes? Too bad. Why don't you get in the position of your driver's seat and go? I can't see you, dumbass, is what I'm trying to tell you. Just get in your driver's seat and go! Shut up, man. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> what did he really think he was gonna do was he gonna throw down for real i mean props props to him i'm sure he could fucking throw a few through bangers just fucking clock him the old one too he looked ready he was ready to go it even kind of looked like he had a uh, like a Bluetooth head. <laughs> fucking, you know, the thing in your ear that you use to talk on the phone like douchebags wear. He had one. He had one. I also love TikTok because there's, there's, there's certain videos where you'll watch and they'll make you laugh so goddamn hard that you just feel great afterwards. There's certain videos you watch where you laugh so hard and you say to yourself, wow, I haven't laughed this hard in fucking years, dude. TikTok's great. Great for that. I'm so glad it exists. I'm re I really am. <sighs> but I mean, Vine, if Vine would have just stayed, this would have, you know. But I guess the problem with Vine was that you could only do six second videos. But even then, I still loved it because you people would pack as much of a punch into that six seconds as much as they could where that was all you needed to laugh. And so, you know, even on TikTok, there will be like a six sec. Usually the best ones are the short ones still. But you can still get really good ones. Usually the ones that are actually 60 seconds are more dramatic and kind of like plot oriented and actually thought out like that purple nurple video I showed you of that guy you know the uh, I think I have the sound bite here actually I know I do there it is right there Oompa Loompa body ass bitch stuff like that you'll see on here uh, yeah yeah so this next one 
that I'm about to show made me laugh uncontrollably, like uncontrollably, for maybe a full half an hour. I just kept replaying it and replaying it and replaying it because I could not stop laughing at this. It, <laughs> it was just so funny. And so now, I mean, I'll still laugh, but I ruined it for myself. I really ruined it. And so I will assure you next time when I find something absolutely hilarious, I'll just pause it, save it, and we're done with it. And then I won't watch it again until we film the podcast. But I will just warn you, you may not find this as funny as I did. But man, I think it's hilarious. I think it's absolutely, absolutely hilarious. All right, here we go. Sucks because it doesn't make me laugh at all anymore. But there's uh, for oh, I guess I should explain for those listening. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck, listeners are going to hate this episode. Anyway, if you're listening, there's this guy filming this girl outside. She's doing like these exercises. She's got her headphones in. She's got a beanie on. <laughs> she's doing these exercises where she lifts her legs like really high with each step she takes, but also her arms up really high as well. <laughs> and so she's doing this to the beat of this guy. And she has no idea it's happening. It's not the same. It's not the same. I can't laugh as hard as I once did. I can't laugh as hard as I once did. I can't laugh as hard as I once did. What are your thoughts on boomers? Do you hate them or do you love them? Or are you indifferent? Boomers. (laughs) Boomers can be cool. Boomers can be cool sometimes. They're not always uh, wrong and bad. (laughs) Sometimes boomers are just funny. Oh, this episode is garbage. This episode's really shitty. Like, I honestly want to just stop it, but I'm not going to. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I just keep thinking about the audio listeners and how they're going to be listening to this and being like, there's so much video content in this episode. Why am I even bother listening to this? Well, it's more of a... Most episodes are more of a watch style podcast, you see. Yes, you know what I'm saying, bro. You know, like, so, like, the other day, I, uh, like, I, uh, guy, uh, uh. Coronavirus! Anyway, what I'm trying to say is boomers can be cool. I discovered this channel called Lily Hayes. Um. <laughs> okay, this guy films his mother. She's like got this. It seems like a French accent or something. <laughs> she's old, but she's she's always angry. But she's playing a character. Um. Ah, she's just she's good. She knows what's up, dude. And this is genuine. It's real genuine. So if you want to have a laugh, take the damn picture already. What? <laughs> I don't like the way I don't see. I don't like the feeling. You just say dough. What the hell is dough? Say dough. What the hell is dough? <laughs> take the damn picture. Okay. So this woman, 
Again, this is another one that made me laugh uncontrollably. But it doesn't make me laugh anymore because I've seen it too many times, okay? Um, yeah, from now on, i got to film these episodes. You know, in the afternoon, when I'm not fucking tired because it's early in the morning right now. And i got to have a little hootsky-poo to, to, you know, liven the spirits a bit. So this woman, for those listening, is dressed as <laughs> Homer Simpson. Her face is completely yellow. And she's got, like, a black goatee <laughs> painted. <laughs> and she's got this, like, uh, yellow bald cap on. And then... <laughs> and then, like, massive fucking... <laughs> Like eyeballs strapped to her head. They're like huge. <laughs> and they're looking in like opposite directions. And she can't see shit. She can't see a goddamn thing. Already! I don't like the way I don't see. I don't like the feeling. You just see dough. What the hell is dough? See dough. What the hell is dough? <laughs> like the damn pictures. Great. It's great content. She knows, she knows, she doesn't, I don't think she knows exactly what she's doing. But she knows. It's, it's great. It's good stuff. Take that dumb picture already. I don't like the way I don't see. See, you say stuff like that in YouTube comments, people automatically think you're foreign. What what okay what are you a cat person or a dog person? If you're a cat person, you're going to like this next video. If you're a dog person, I don't know how you're going to feel about this next video. But I've growing up I was a cat person because I had a cat. I would have been a dog person because we went to the SPCA to get a dog. Turns out that I don't remember why we didn't end up getting a dog. But we just didn't. And then we went to the cats. And somehow I saw this cat. And I was like, this is what I want instead of the dog. And so I brought, got a cat. It was a kitten. And I had this cat from like age 12 to about 18 years old. And yeah. Uh, so I was a cat person. But now I have an ooble. Come here, ooble. Come here. Ah, there he is. He didn't quite make it. <laughs> it's an ooble. Which I don't think makes me a dog person. Because um, he's basically a cat. That does dog stuff. I took him for, I take him for walks. Try to, you know, almost every day, every second day. Especially now that the weather's nice. Uh... And whenever he sees a cat, he gets excited. Like if I go, pss, 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 his ears perk up and he looks around. He doesn't do it inside because, you know, he knows there's not a cat around. But when we're outside, he's instantly ready to pounce. But if a cat comes to him, he just freezes and doesn't know what to do. And if the cat swats him in the face a few times, he freaks the fuck out. Starts yelping uncontrollably like like he's being murdered. He's just, he's all talk and no game. And that's not only for cats. He'll do that to fucking goats. He'll do it to, like he'll growl at a goat. He'll even growl at a fucking buffalo. I mean, I have an episode of the podcast where we went to Elk Island. And I took Ubel. You know, and we went there, and you know, there's buffalo roaming all around, and he's fucking chasing the buffalo, barking at him. Like, what the hell? Do you really think you can take on a buffalo? One stomp, and you're dead. Anyway, but yeah, if he's ever confronted, he does, he just freezes and, and, and pusses out. Anyway, we're talking about dogs and cats because of, of this. I love the 
cheese dust all over its face, too. Now, it was probably just suffocating in there. <laughs> but it was, I think it might have just been licking the inside of the cheese bag. <laughs> cheese dust. <laughs> Yeah, the cat had cheese dust all over its face. Listeners, listen to me. There's this cat on a fi- on a fence, okay? A chain link fence right on the top. He's just like somehow laying down on it. I don't know. Cats do weird shit. And he's got <laughs> He's got a cheese it bag completely over the top of his head. How the fuck did the cat get up there and get a cheese it bag over its head? That makes no sense to me. That's a weird situation. Anyway, the guy walks up to the cat. and He's filming. The cat doesn't even notice the guy's there. Probably because he can't hear anything because all he hears is the crumbling of the cheese it bag. (laughs) And he pulls the cheese it bag off the cat's head and the cat's face is covered in cheese dust. (laughs) He looks confused. (laughs) He's just having some cheese it's. Ah, the the cheese dust on the face, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Um, if you've had surgery before, you know that the, uh, what is it, the anesthetics, is that the word, that they give you are, are pretty, pretty nice, right? They make you feel good. They make you feel like you're not even a person because the shit you say makes no sense. Not even a little bit. Uh, I remember I had to get my wisdom teeth pulled and I was on some drugs. And... (laughs) Yeah, it was a fun time. Anyway... Let's just watch this. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> you. <laughs> Can you Why do you look so weird right now? Because you're high. Huh? Because you're high. Take a seat. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> The tongue. Listen. What in the two rats fucking in a ranch Dorito bag is going on? Right <laughs> Language. Oh, I'm sorry. What did I say? What did I say? You said the F word. I did? Like four times. Oh, shit. Oh, no, fuck. Oh, <laughs> God, damn it. This is impossible, incurable. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> so this guy is in the military. Uh, don't know what rank he is, but yeah, you can kind of hear it coming out of <laughs> two rats fucking in a ranch Dorito bag. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is this one was good. Let's listen to this again. I think you listeners understand the context of this. Military man in the hospital just got out of surgery. You and his wife is with him. Why do you look so weird right now? <laughs> Cause you're high. Huh? Cause you're high. Take a seat. <laughs> I'm good. Take a seat. Listen, what in the two rats fucking in a ranch Dorito bag is going on right now? <laughs> Language. Oh, I'm sorry. What did I say? What did I say? You said the F word. I did? Like four times. Oh, shit. Oh, no, fuck. Oh, God damn it. This is impossible. Incurable. What the fuck are you looking at? Great stuff. And just a reminder, all of this, all of these things are going to be 
uh, all the links to these videos are in the description, okay? So even if you're listening to this podcast, if you go to the description of, you know, whether you're in Spotify, well, not iTunes, because there's not enough room. The fucking, I, when you upload to iTunes, they don't, they don't let you, they only let you do like 250 characters or something, so you don't even have any room to put links in there. So if you're listening to this on iTunes, well, shit, you're shit out of luck. But if you're listening to Spotify or Google Play, uh, you can find the links to these videos in the descripty. It's all going to be jumbled into one mess of a text with no spaces in between anything. Uh, because uh, it doesn't let you. The fucking... Uh, podcast um, what's the word whatever the the place where you upload to because you don't upload directly to Spotify and iTunes you upload to a website that takes it and distributes it out to these places okay I can't remember what you call it anyway yeah so you can find the links to these videos if you want to watch it on your own time, or you can just go to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com backslash dynamite jizzard films. No, it's dynamite gizmo films. Don't make jokes when you're promoting, okay? You don't joke. And so this last ep this last clip I have, I don't even know how long have we been going? Damn, 48 minutes. Hallelujah! This last clip, I don't even know because I don't have it written down because there wasn't enough room. So it's a surprise for both of us, even though I've already seen it, but we'll see what it is. Ah! Right. Have you ever been to a sleepover? When you were a child? Of course you have. If you were... Unless... I mean, I shouldn't say of course you have. Some children don't have good upbringings. But if you did you would have went to a sleepover. And if you went to a sleepover, you may have done something like this, but you may not have had as great of results as this. The result of this is fantastic. And you'll you'll soon find out why. It's a quick one. <laughs> hey! fantastic right this guy I don't even know I'm not saying this is a sleepover I'm just saying that could have been his wife or something I don't know if it's a guy or a girl anyway he throws it he throws a Pringle can the mini Pringle can at this person's head as they're moving around on the couch with blankets and shit and it hits in such a way that it makes this beautiful boink sound why don't we take another listen <laughs> Sounds like a girl. Must be a girl. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yes, very nice. I'm going to go have some pancakes. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit that hit that subscribe button, bell, notification, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, notification, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, notification, comment, like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.